Thanks for joining us for a summary of our progress audit on the integrated case management system. The ICM project was intended to improve the delivery of social programs and supports by integrating the IT systems of the Ministry of Social Development and Social Innovation and the Ministry of Children and Family Development. We initially audited the project in 2015 and found that the ICM system had neither met expectations nor fulfilled its key objectives. We made eight recommendations in our 2015 report to the Ministry of Social Development and Social Innovation to improve ICM. For this progress audit, we looked at six of those recommendations and found that they were all partially implemented. We did not audit the two recommendations on the quality of client information because there was a lower risk that the Ministry had not fully addressed them. Our assessment of the Ministry's progress differed from the Ministry's own self-assessment. The Ministry considered the six recommendations to be fully or substantially completed, while our audit showed them to be all partially completed. The difference is largely because the Ministry based its progress on the effort it put into addressing each recommendation, while we looked at whether it had achieved the recommendation. Since May 2016, when the Ministry completed the assessment, we understand that it has made further progress on some of the recommendations. The Ministry has made significant effort to address the recommendations on access to client information. For example, the Ministry has introduced a regular program to review employee access to the system, which includes spot checking users' accounts to make sure they're only accessing what they should be. The Ministry has also clarified job roles to better define who can access restricted records. There are also stronger procedures in place now for assigning employees with the correct level of access to records. However, the Ministry has not fully implemented the review process for inactive accounts, such as the accounts of employees who have moved on to other jobs or retired. The Ministry also hasn't yet determined whether access to restricted records was properly assigned. The Ministries have made less progress on cost transparency. In 2015, we attempted to review the capital and operating costs of ICM. Budget forecast information for both capital and operating costs was available over the course of the project, but not actual costs because the project had not yet been fully completed. The Ministry provided information on the $182 million in actual capital costs, but only minimal information is available on actual operating costs. When it comes to monitoring total project costs, the ICM project is not alone. For the future, it's important for government to follow through on our recommendation to prepare a full accounting of both capital and operating costs for the life of every IT project. We also made this recommendation in our recent report called Getting IT Right, Achieving Value from Government Information Technology Investments. Tracking and reporting all costs will improve project management. It will also provide legislators and the public with greater clarity around the full costs for ICM or any other IT project to help the public know if projects have achieved value for money. That's our summary for today. Thanks for joining us. And to read this report and others, or for more information about our office, please visit our website at www.bcauditor.com.